So, let's have this topic. So, for this normal distribution, the z-score, then for this problem, so given the normal distribution with a mean of 42 and the standard deviation of 7, then to find the area from 32 and 47, so first, we need to convert these numbers to z-scores using this formula. So for 32, so we have z equals x is 32 minus the mean and the mean is 42 over the standard deviation so that 7 so z equals so we have 32 minus 42 equals then divide by 7 so this is negative 1.43 so negative 1.43 then for this 47, so z equals 47 minus 42 over 7, so z equals, so this is 47 minus 42 equals, divide by 7, so that's 0 0.71, so 0 0.71. Then using now this z scores to find the area. So for negative 1.42 to 0 0.71, then in a normal curve, so let's assume this is negative 1.42 and let's assume this is 0 0.71. Then to find the area, so take note from this curve, the center is the mean, so this is the mean. Then to find the area for negative 1.42 using this table, and for this table, the area is between the mean and the z score. So for this area from the mean, to the z-score for negative 1.42. So just ignore the negative. So we have 1.4, then 0 0.02, that's 1.42. Then you connect to find the area. So the area is 0 0.4, 222. So this area is 0 0.4222. Then for this area, 0 0.71. So we have 0 0.7 and 0 0.01. That's 0 0.71. Then you connect. So the area is 0 0.2611. So this area is 0 0.2611. Since we need to find the area from negative 1.42 and 0 0.71, so this is the unknown area. And observe that the area is within the mean. So therefore, we need to add these two areas. So the total area equals 0 0.6833 or this is equal to 68.33%. Then for this given to find the area, so first we need to convert these numbers to z-scores. So 445 minus the mean over the standard deviation. So we have 45 minus 42 equals divide by 7. So that's 0 0.43. So this is 0 0.43. Then for this 55, so z equals 55 minus 
42 divided by 7, so z equals, so 55 minus 42 equals divided by 7, that's 1.86, so this is 1.86, then using this z scores to find the area from 0 0.43 and 1.86, so in a normal curve, we assume this is positive 0 0.43 and this is positive 1.86 then this is the mean and to find out this area so for 0 0.43 so this is 0 0.4 then 0 0.03 then you connect so the area is 0 0.1664 so this is 0 0.1664 then for the area of 1.86 so 1.8 then this is point, uh, 0 0.06 then you connect so the area is 0 0.4686 so this is 0 0.4686 then since we define the area from 0.43 to 1.86, so this is the unknown area and observe since the area is away from the mean, so since away from the mean, so we need to subtract these two areas. So to subtract these two areas, so we have the bigger area minus the smaller area so therefore the total area is equal to 0 0.3022 then in percentage form this is equal to 30.22 percent then for this given so to find the area above 30 so convert this to z scores so this is 30 minus 42 divided by 7. So z equals, so we have 30 minus 42 equals divide by 7. So that's negative 1.71. So this is negative 1.71. Then to find out the area above this negative 1.71, so in a normal curve, let's assume this is negative 1.71. Then to find out this area, so for negative 1.71, so just ignore the negative. So this is 1.7, then 0.01, then you connect. So the area is 0.4564. So this is 0 0.4564 since we're looking for the area above so therefore to the right so this area is the unknown above 30 or above negative 1.71 since the area is with the mean so you need to add the two areas so this is 0 0.4564 then plus the other area since the area of the curve or the total area of the curve is equal to 1 so therefore half of the curve the area is 0 0.5 so this is plus 0 0.5 so therefore the area or the total area is 0 0.9564 or this is equal to 95.64%. Then for this given, so below 48, so convert this to z-scores. So 48 minus 42 divided by 7, so z equals, so 48 minus 42 equals divided by 7. So that's 0 0.86, so this is 
0 0.86 then to find now the area below 0 0.86 so let's assume this is positive 0 0.86 and this is the mean then to find now this area so we have 0 0.8 then 0 0.06 so this is 0 0.86 so the area is 0 0.3051 so this is 0 0.3051 since the area is below so to the left so this is the unknown area to the left and observe the total area is with the mean so since with the mean so you need to add it to areas and half of the curve the area is 0 0.5 so we have now the area equals so this 0 0.3051 plus 0.5 so the total area is 0 0.8051 or this is equal to 80.51 percent then for this given, so the area above 45, so we have Z equals 45 minus 42 divided by 7, so Z equals, so 45 minus 42 equals divided by 7, so that's 0 0.43, so 0 0.43. Then to find now the area above 0 0.43, then let's assume this is positive 0 0.43, and to find this area, so 0 0.4, then 0 0.03, so this area is 0 0.1664, so this is 0 0.1664, then since above, so to the right, and this is the unknown area. So observe that the total area is away from the mean. So therefore, you need to subtract the two areas. And again, half of the curve, the area is 0 0.5. So to find the total area, so since away from the mean, so you need to subtract the bigger area minus the smaller area so therefore the total area is 0 0.3336 or this is equal to 33.36 percent